Pseudofolliculitis barbie, or razor bumps, shave bumps, or ingrown hairs. Who is most at risk for razor bumps? Between 45 and 83% of black men and 3% of white men who shave facial hair develop pseudofolliculitis barbie. Where do razor bumps and ingrown hairs mostly occur? The condition can occur in any hairy area, but the cheeks and neck are the most common sites of pseudofolliculitis. Individuals who remove hair from sites such as the axilla, pubic area, and legs may develop pseudofolliculitis in these areas. What causes it? Skin symptoms are caused by an inflammatory reaction against hair that has penetrated just below the visible portion of the skin. This occurs in two ways. A hair follicle can leave the skin then come back and penetrate the skin, or a hair follicle can penetrate before it comes out from the surface of the skin. Extra follicular penetration in pseudofolliculitis barbie. Reentry of the hair into the skin after the hair has exited the follicle. Shaving creates short, sharp ended hairs that are capable of penetrating the skin. Transfollicular penetration in pseudofolliculitis barbie. Entry of the hair into the interfollicular skin occurs prior to exiting of the hair from the follicle. The use of double edged or multiple edged razors also contributes. The first razor edge pulls the hair upward, and the subsequent razor edge cuts the hair, resulting in retraction of the cut hair into the skin after shaving. What are the clinical features, signs, and symptoms? Numerous erythematous and hyperpigmented papules are present on the beard area in this patient with pseudofolliculitis barbie. Hyperpigmented papules and small pustules are present on the mandible and neck. What is the best way to treat this? The clinical manifestations of pseudofolliculitis are due to the entry of hair into the portion of the skin just below the visible surface. The primary approach to therapy consists of measures to prevent this occurrence, with the most effective and safe intervention being the permanent discontinuation of shaving. Why can't all men just not shave? Occupational requirements are a big factor and can require strict grooming requirements. Men who are in the military, men who work as security guards, and men who need to wear tight-fitting N95 masks as part of their jobs are often required to shave. For men who cannot simply stop shaving because of their job, what are their options? Treatment option one, discontinuing shaving, hair waxing, and hair plucking. Allow hair to remain at a length that makes penetration of the skin unlikely and helps prevent ingrown hairs. This is the treatment of choice for pseudofolliculitis barbie. The person can continue to groom the beard with scissors or an electric clipper, where they should consider initially trimming the hair to a length of no less than half a centimeter. Treatment option two, adjust how you shave. Use clippers instead of razors and apply generous amounts of a highly lubricating shaving cream or gel for five to 10 minutes prior to shaving. This can help to reduce the formation of sharp hair tips during shaving. Also, use warm compresses prior to shaving. Finally, use a single blade razor instead of multiple bladed razors and do not stretch the skin during shaving. Treatment option three, laser hair removal. Pseudofolliculitis barbie occurs only in areas of hair regrowth. Permanently destroying hair through laser treatment can provide long-term improvement. For those who work in jobs that require regular or daily shaving, a shaving waiver will be required by the employer to be exempt from that requirement. Shaving waivers must be obtained from a licensed physician. For men whose jobs have a grooming requirement, a shaving waiver will typically recommend that the employee be allowed to maintain a beard of at least half a centimeter. For men who need to wear an N95 mask, the physician will recommend that the employee be allowed to wear a powered air purifying respirator, or PAPR, mask instead. A PAPR mask does not fit tightly around the mouth, and therefore even men with full beards can wear them. In the image, you can see a PAPR respirator being worn by a man with a beard. If you suffer from razor bumps and get significant irritation when shaving, consult a licensed doctor. If your job is at stake, you will need a shaving waiver. My virtual physician has multiple board certified doctors who are licensed across multiple states. We typically have same day availability and we typically can do a video visit and then generate the shaving waiver within 24 hours. Most of our patients get their waiver the same day as their video visit. Book a visit at www.myvirtualphysician.com.